Hi guys, welcome to another video. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at meal prep, an important part of any fitness journey. And I'm gonna guide you through one of my favorite curries, roast butternut coconut curry. So before we get started, if you're enjoying these videos, please click on that like button below us. So that really helps the spread of the videos. And uh, if you haven't joined the channel yet, click on the subscribe button and come join the team. So curry is a very versatile dish and can keep things real interesting during the week. I've used butternut squash as the base for this one because it's very low in calories. I also absolutely love using sweet potato or other root vegetables. Just sweet potato is a little bit higher in calories. Butternut squash is only half the calories of regular potatoes or sweet potatoes. So after that, when you're portioning up during the week, you can add whatever protein or whatever carbohydrate you, you like. You know, and keep, th keep things interesting. Make sure that uh, you're not getting sick of eating the same thing every day. So to start with, we're going to take our cube butternut squash, add them to a heated pan with some spray olive oil. Next up, we're going to season with some salt and pepper. So we don't need to cook them for too long in the pan, we just want to coat them with oil, add the salt and pepper and then get them into the air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, you could use an oven at about 180 degrees, but it takes a little bit longer. And with those, we're going to add half a bulb of garlic, and that's going to give this curry a really nice roasted garlic flavor. So we're going to cook those at about 160 for 30 to 40 minutes. Check them regularly, times may vary depending on your air fryer. So while those are cooking, just going to prep the rest of the curry, dice a few onions, get the curry powder ready, and start chopping some courgettes for our first portion of curry. Courgette is a great way to add some volume to your meals without adding very many calories. It's also nice and nutritious and tastes great. So again we're going to start with a heated pan, a little bit of spray olive oil, add your onions and we're going to toss those for a couple of minutes until browned. While these are cooking, add your coconut milk to a food processor. So once our onions are cooked, we're going to add our curry powder and our cumin to the pan. Maybe a little bit of water to loosen the mixture so it doesn't get stuck to the pan. And cook out for about one minute to release the flavor. So once our butternut squash is uh, finished, softened and golden brown, we're going to add that to the blender. Uh, with our onion mix, our stock cube and our garlic and give that a thorough mix. The roast garlic here just adds so much flavor to this recipe. So remember, if you like spicy, you could add some chili powder or hot sauce to this recipe. I left it out just to keep it mild to appeal to everybody, but personally, I do like a bit of spice. Once that's mixed, our curry sauce is finished, we're going to go ahead and transfer that into a lunchbox for later. So stick your lunchbox onto the scales, check the weight, divide that by 5 and that's going to be your portion size. Okay, so for our first serving suggestion, we're going for convenience. We're going to use frozen cauliflower rice, uh, again frozen stir-fried vegetables, and we're going for a pre-cooked chicken breast. I'm adding courgette for some volume, and it's real simple here. So we're just adding our rice to our, our pan, we're adding our vegetables to the pan. We're cooking that out with one portion of our curry sauce, and once that's finished, pre-cooked or reheated chicken breast. So I recommend cooking up a few chicken fillets or some protein source at the start of the week and often it will do you a couple of days. So when you're cooking out the mix, you might need to add a little bit of water to loosen it up and that will probably evaporate out again as you simmer it. So at just over 500 calories and almost 60 grams of protein, this is a really nice meal choice for me. I love this one, make it about 3 or 4 times a week. So if you try this one out, let me know what you think in the comments. Or if you have any other serving suggestions or ways that you like to use curry sauce, let me know down below. 
So the curry sauce will last for three to four days in the fridge. And if you want to keep it longer than that, portion it up and put it in the freezer. Now it's time for a taste test. Oh yeah, it's good. So my second serving suggestion for this curry sauce is my absolute favorite. This one is done with roast sweet potatoes, uh, cooked in the exact same way we did our butternut squash. I absolutely love this one. Uh, it is a little bit higher on the calorie count because, as, as I said previously, sweet potato is double the calories of butternut squash and also double the calories of cauliflower rice. But it's so tasty, it's definitely worth the calories. So I absolutely love spinach added to pretty much every meal except for maybe my porridge. Uh, strongly suggest adding it to this one. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, stick them in the comment section below. And if you have any requests for meals in the future, uh, don't be afraid to ask.